Welcome to Easy Eats. My name is Chef Eve Deshane, and today we're in the Greener Village's Learning Kitchen with Nairobi Nunez, a uh, local cook uh, working out of the uh, Fredericton Inn. Yeah. Welcome, Nairobi. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for the invitation. Right on. So, Nairobi, you are from the Dominican Republic, are you not? Yes. Perfect. So, today you're going to share with us... Uh, mango. Mango. So, yeah. tell us a little bit about <laughs> what mango is. So, the mango is uh, mashed plantains that we're going to make. Okay. So we have to peel those plantains and boil it. Okay. And then we have to mash it with this. So uh, we're going to show you how that is. And while you do this, I'll ask you a few questions about, well, what brought you to Canada? We came to Canada for a study. Okay. And also to work. So my, my, my partner, <laughs> my husband came here for a study. Okay. And I came here as a worker. I'm working as a cook. What made you guys decide Fredericton when you came to Canada? Well, the first reason was that this is uh, one of the most cheaper province in the country. Okay, so yeah. So we decided to come to New Brunswick for, the first, for that reason. And also because uh, he wants to study at NBCCD. Okay. That is a college here that he was interested in studying grass and design. So that's why we decided. And you're right, <laughs> NBCC is a very uh, well-renowned yeah, uh, college yeah. and stuff like that. And, and you're right, it is a lot more cost effective to live in the Maritimes than it would be to move to Montreal or Toronto. Right. Let's get started. Show me how to make that mango. All right. So we're going to peel the plantains. But sometimes I do this because it gets faster and easier to take out the, the, the so to peel it. Okay. So you knock <laughs> it with the back of your knife and, yeah, th and that right it loosens here. it up really. Yeah, a little bit easier and faster. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about that. These are plantains, and they look a, an awful lot like bananas. So can we uh, can we make a mango with bananas instead of plantain? Yeah, we can. You can, yeah. It's not the same, but it's going to taste so similar. <laughs> Will it? Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'm also noticing, uh, Nairobi, that we're using green plantains today. Is yeah. there a reason why we're using green, not the ripe ones? Mm, yeah, so well, we can use the, the, the yellow plantains also. Okay. But these ones are the traditional ones that we use for mango. Okay. But usually I like the yellow one more than this. <laughs> you like the yellow ones yeah, better? Yeah, okay. but that's optional. I love even this or the yellow one, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So, so is, there any, is there any tradition, like the, the mango, uh, is there a little bit of history? But behind no. this dish? It is from the First Nation people. And also, a popular story says that they call it <laughs> also mango because when the North America people came to the Caribbean, to our country, yes. so they were asking for food. And they, and they told them about the mango. So they hit, this didn't have a name at that moment. And then, when the first main I tried this, this dish, he said to the other man that was outside, he said, oh man, this is good. <laughs> oh, man, and man good. That's yeah. a popular story, you know? So the, that's why they call it mango. So yeah, now we peel the plantains. It's not really perfect because... <laughs> no, no, that's okay. But we're gonna peel the other one, and then we wanna put some water on the bowl and start boiling. Now, Nairobi, did you study to be a cook? Back in the Dominican Republic? Not really. <laughs> no, I had some experience before in 2019. I was in the United States. Okay. And, the, and there I got experience. But okay. I didn't study this. <laughs> um, what it's led you to cooking? Is it just a job that was easy to get or was it something that you like to do? I like to cook. You do? Yeah. 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 And also I apply for the job and, and, and here you got we are. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, any early memories or anything like that? What brought you to cooking? I mean, I, I know a lot of people like to cook, but a lot of people like myself who like to cook because I watched my grandmother's cook and I always had lots of questions. So how, how did you come about finding your, your way into the kitchen? So to be honest, uh, my father loved to cook. Yep. <laughs> and he always in the kitchen doing different dishes. So, and I always watching how he cooked, you know, so, I think that's the main reason. Okay. And also my mom showed me all the things that I know. So, yeah, that is. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I, I really enjoy this, yeah. 
All right. So I noticed that you're peeling that plantain with a knife. Could you peel it like a banana, just kind of peel it like that, or is it easier that way? Yeah, you can peel it as a banana. It depends how hard it is. Okay. Because if you have the yellow plantains, it's you don't have to use a knife gotcha. or for sure, you know, <laughs> but sometimes it's so difficult. Okay, so today we're making the mango and, and the mango is going to go with uh, with a few other things, right? Yeah, we're going to use some add. I have to add here. Also, we're going to make like saute onions. Okay. And uh, we got the chorizo and the frying cheese. So that, 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 that's, a, that's a, a Dominican Republic dish? It's a, it's a breakfast dish? Yeah, yeah, this is so traditional and famous in my country. Okay. And also in other countries in the Caribbean, but it's more, more famous in, my, in our country because we create this. <laughs> Fantastic, and, and what's it called? Does it have a special name? Yeah, just like that, mango. <laughs> just, just mango? Okay. Mango with the, tra with the three hits. Three, oh, three hits, okay. Yeah. Tres golpes. Tres Spanish. golpes, okay. <laughs> yeah, we call it like that because the, tre the tres golpes is going to be one, yeah. two, and three. And three, okay. This is an extra. <laughs> oh, and it's just a garnish. Oh, it's fantastic. A garnish, yeah. You got some water for me? I have some water for you. We Perfect. just turn that on to boil, right? Yeah, thank you. Lovely. We add like one tablespoon of salt. A little bit of salt in there as well. I can do that. Yeah, it depends how many plantains you have. Okay. Because. Yeah, roughly about a tablespoon in there now. Yeah, because sometimes if you have more than three plantains, so you have to add more salt. So we're cooking these plantains case. just to, to soften them up, but say we're using the yellow ones, would you have to boil them as well or could yeah. you just, ma okay. Yeah, we can, we have to boil it <laughs> anyway. And if we're using bananas, same thing, boil yeah. it up as well? Yeah. Okay. So the, what we're gonna do is we cut a, we cut this in, in a half. Okay, yeah. Start in here. And this one as well. And also this one. Do you want me to start adding these to the pot? Yeah, please. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, they're a lot firmer than a banana. You could definitely tell. And yeah. then the color. So yeah, they look just like a banana, except for the texture. Yeah, right? The, the thing, and the reason why we cut it in half is because it gets boiled faster. Gotcha. So the smaller so the pieces, the quicker it'll boil. Right. <laughs> right it'll on. It'll be quicker. <laughs> so we're making mango with plantain. So d d is uh, plantain something that's harvested in the Dominican Republic? Yeah. So big farms and stuff like that? Yeah, we have many farms, especially in the in the Cibao country, uh, Cibao province, sorry. Okay. That is like more at the north side of our country. All right. And are we you from that area? No, no, my family is from that. Is from there, from Puerto Plata. Puerto Plata, okay. But I'm not from there. I born in Santo Domingo, that is the capital. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. All right, so we've got that boiling, um, and then uh, well, let's talk about the garnishes. You you said the three hits, the tres golpes. Yeah. So let's let's get those <laughs> ready. Yeah, the first thing we're gonna chop the, or maybe, uh, chop the cheese first. So we're using a special kind of cheese, aren't we? It's not just any kind of regular cheese. We're, what kind of cheese are we using today? Yeah, we're using the frying cheese. So for those this who don't know, frying cheese, stuff like halloumi, mm -hmm. um, but is there a special frying cheese that you guys get in the Dominican Republic? Yeah, we usually use the frying cheese because it's better. And also, if you, if you don't get the frying cheese, it's gonna get like, um, it's going to disappear on the oil, you know? <laughs> well, no, it'll, it'll melt away, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, and yes, we also we can get frying cheese everywhere in our country. Okay. I'm going to make like this. So we're going to slice it like that, so long, thin slices. Yeah. Okay. So no. is there a special size or thickness that you need to make it, or can you make your cheese as thick as you want to make it? As thick as you want, yeah. Okay, so it's basically <laughs> suit it's to order. Okay, yeah. lovely. It depends what do you want. We're going to let these plantains get soft, and then we'll be right back to finish this mango right after these few messages. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, I have uh, Nairobi Nunez, uh, one of the cooks down at the Fredericton Motor Inn, showing us uh, some of uh, her uh, native uh, breakfast, tres golpes with mango. Yeah. Uh, our plantains are ready, and uh, what do we do next? So uh, we're going to add some butter. Okay. And also a little of cold water. 
So why we add the, the cold water is because it get like smooth. Okay. Yeah, do you know? Here, let's switch back, my dear. You can work right here, and there we go. Okay. Perfect. Some right. water and some butter. So it's kind of like making mashed potatoes, isn't it? Yeah, it's too similar. The only thing is this is plantains. <laughs> yeah, so we were talking while these were boiling, and we, and we said that we could substitute bananas, but it's preferred to use a green banana, not a ripe banana right, for this. Right, yes. Okay. Don't get confused, people. <laughs> Well, that's it, and it's just texture, right? Yeah. Okay. Green bananas. Usually, Canadians don't sell those, but well, maybe we do. We we do, um, uh, they, and then we keep them at the house, and hopefully they get ripe enough. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. So we're using the green banana or a or a greener plantain, and that's because of the starch content in it. Yeah. Okay. That's right. It has to get softy, so we add a little more of water. No, no problem. <laughs> so while you're mashing that, Nairobi, uh, you were telling me that this isn't your first career. You were a journalist back in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. Yes, I was working as a journalist. I have my my degree as a journalist also. So <laughs> okay, that I have been working there for two years and a half. And also, I make some years also working as a TV news. So both print and TV, that, that's super right. interesting. <laughs> that's right, yeah, I got that like some years ago. Yeah, I really enjoy do doing journalists. I love that. Any uh, stories or, or uh, things that you'd like to share about your time as a journalist? Well, uh, there are many stories, to be honest, but I will tell you that the most uh, that I remember is when I was going every day to the hospitals to see how everything is coming about the COVID-19. So that was, I mean, like, like the sad story that I have because going every day to hospitals to see how it, the people live, how, how many numbers of people that we have. So that's, that's really crazy, you know? No, it, it was. Yeah. All right, so. We've got the mango going right now, and then we're going to fry everything else. All Is right. that how that works? Yeah. So how um, high do we usually keep our pan? It can be medium high, please. Medium high, so about four or five on your on your stove yeah. to electric stove top? Yeah. Wonderful. So now we got this ready. And, it, and, and, and it's ready like that? We, we don't fry it up? It's ju it just sits no. just like that? <laughs> well, that's we fantastic. We don't have to fry it at all now. If you... If you want, you can add more butter. Okay. It's gonna taste better. And then if could you, you don't, you can add a little bit of olive oil. Okay. You know? <laughs> now, has anybody ever made it a little sweeter? So, is that, have you ever tried adding a little bit of sugar or anything to it, mm. or, or say now that you're in Canada, adding a little bit of maple syrup? No, I haven't tried it like that. No. <laughs> maybe. It's well, maybe we invented you something can, new. Yeah. Right. We should try that, but I haven't. <laughs> yes. So I think this is good. I like very smooth. That's you like why. it very smooth? <laughs> well, I was going to ask you that. So I guess it depends on the person cooking it. Can you serve right. it chunky? Yeah. Can Does mango have to be mashed, or could you just kind of cook it and no. then just serve it, it like that? It doesn't have. Well, if you want to if you want to call it like a mango, it has to be mashed. It's got to be mashed. <laughs> but okay. you can eat the plantains just like that. I got you. So right, if it's just a plantain, it's a plantain. <laughs> and once yeah. it's mashed, it becomes mango. Yeah. For ah. example, my mom likes just the green plantain. She put some butter on the top and just the features and that's it. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> interesting. Right on. You see? It's, I don't know. Sometimes people get lazy, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and, and cooking doesn't have to be difficult, does right. it? Right. So we add a little of oil. Okay. Um, to the pan. Know. Oil's right there in front of you. Okay, we can use this one. Yep. Okay. There we go. So like we're adding quite a bit of oil into the pan, like are we? Like a quarter. Okay. Yeah, I think it's coming hot. And then Just a little bit. We add. I'm thinking making the egg first. Making the eggs first, absolutely. Yeah. So you just pass that over here, and I will get this out of your way. Thank you. Give you a little bit more room. <laughs> because sometimes, you know, the cheese can spread some. And it gets <laughs> sticky on the pan. It's pretty simple. We're using two pans All to right. make this, right? So, um, 
You're going to fry your eggs, and then we'll fry our cheese. A uh, cheese, and then we're, we've also got salami as well. Is that yeah. traditional? Yeah. It's, if we don't have salami, it's not like a mango. <laughs> okay, it's not a mango without salami. Uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm just kidding. Now we can. If you don't have money, you can have it just like that. So does it? Could you say uh, serve it up with say bacon or or ham or anything else? Or yeah. Okay. Cool. Also, you can use bacon. Some people like bacon, you know, in my country. Okay, how can I? Do? We want that hotter or lower? Lower, please. How's that right there? Yeah, how you like the egg? How do I like my eggs? I like mine over easy, but I oh, mean, okay. I'll, I will have it any way chef prepares it for me. <laughs> because I like to do this when I have like, some oil at the top. Okay, yeah. And then I... So you're basting it with some of the oil. Yeah. I'm just gonna flip that like that. Mm. And then I just leave it like that. That's all I really it's want. Okay. Right there. And then we'll just put that on the plate. Yeah. Lovely. Make the second one up. Make the second one for sure. Put it in this side there. Perfect, yeah. All right. So okay. let me start cook, cutting this. Because we're gonna garnish the plate with this. We're gonna gar okay, we're gonna garnish the plate yeah. with the onion. Use Perfect. the half. So this is an option, is it? Or you don't have to put onion, or is this part no. of the dish? This is an option, yeah. Okay. Just like a garnish. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. So we've got our pan ready here. Do we? Uh, what do we do next? Do we get some cheese in there frying? Yeah, we're gonna do the cheese. Perfect. It's got a little bit broken, but that's okay. No, that's all right, too. <laughs> so we're using halloumi or fried cheese. It's got a higher melting point, so it's yeah. great for frying or for grilling. So that works out great. So I can yeah. watch these while you get your onions Thank ready, you. too. You're right. <laughs> and how much are we frying this? Are we frying this till it's nice and crispy? Um, yeah, until okay. it got crispy. Perfect. Here we are. We got the onions. Put it in a bowl. Perfect. So are we putting those onions on just like that, or are we just going to, uh, or uh, do you have like a little bit of a vinaigrette or something that you put on top of it? Yeah, we're going to put some vinegar. Some vinegar, okay. Vinegar, and we put a little of olive oil. Okay. And then we put it on the fryer for like one minute or two minutes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So one. is this cheese brown enough for you, or do you want it a little bit darker? A little bit darker, please. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Oops, I think we have enough onions. <laughs> so is this something that you would have every day for breakfast? Or is this kind of a special occasion not, breakfast? Not every day. No. Not every day? <laughs> okay. Sometimes we, like I said, we got lazy. We just got a bread with some egg, some egg and salami and that's it. Okay. <laughs> or maybe empanadas. That is something that we love also. Okay. You know the empanadas? I know empanadas, yes. Right. You can... That was good? Okay. And we yeah. just put that right on this plate as well? Thank you, yeah. All please. right. We add the olive oil to the onions. Okay. This. And the vinegar. Okay. There we go. Do we need to add a little bit more oil to this, or do you think we're doing Please. oil? <laughs> yeah, for the salami. Yeah. For the salami? Perfect. Excuse my reach. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're about to fry the salami, are we? Yeah, we're going to put the salami in. Perfect. <laughs> the last hit. The, the, la the last hit of the three hits. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect. So we're frying this up crispy as well. Yes. Right on. <laughs> so I do a chef series once a month here in the Learning Kitchen, and we talk about different cultures and different cuisines and things like that. And I think that this is fantastic. Um, Dominican Republic is something that we haven't explored yet. It's a food that I don't know too much about, and I think that Frederick doesn't really know that much about. So 
in my in my series, I try to uh, feature different uh, ethnic cuisines and things like that. Um, yes. This is something I think that uh, you and I could get along great doing if, if this is something of interest to you. And, uh, and that would be wonderful. Um, how's the food culture there? Is there a lot, a lot of different food? We usually go to the beaches there, the rivers. Yeah. We have many beaches. I don't know if you know about that. We uh, are yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's it. Well, that's what I was saying. That you said that you're from Puerto Plata, and yeah. uh, that, well, that and for me, that's where the Dominican Republic is. Is you, 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 you buy something from a travel agent, you mm -hmm. get on the plane, you go and you spend two weeks on yeah. the resort, and then and then you come back. That's all I know about the oh, Dominican right, Republic. Right, so, can you tell me a little bit more about the Dominican Republic? Yeah, yeah. We c I can tell you about the culture. Sure. So, uh, well, how is the people in the Dominican Republic? Yeah. <laughs> so we usually are like very funny we love to make jokes okay we love to dance and in and in, 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 in sing you know we love merengue we also have like i told you the mango we have the sancocho it's a uh, our gastronomy is about this it's a beet soup that we make okay and we put there seven meats we have to put pork we have to put um like i said the the chicken we have to put a, a cam everything on the on the soup <laughs> so our, okay well, that's we, fantastic yeah right and after we got that so we make a big party we enjoy eating our hot food <laughs> and yeah well fantastic so that looks like those uh, the, that salami is done now right yeah it's done perfect so we just put that on the plate as well yeah please wonderful is there any specific way to put these on the plate? Am I doing this right? Or, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm right on the money. Pan <laughs> fantastic. So uh, can you pass me the salt, please? The salt? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you. So now we're going to make the onions. All you got to do is, there you go, perfect. So again, that's just really simple. It's just oil and, and, uh, and vinegar into the onions. Right, and a little bit of salt. And a little bit of salt. Here you little bit. And then is there a reason why we're putting vinegar in there before we fry it? Yeah, no, it's just for the flavor. It it's ju it's just to bring better. a flavor, okay. Yeah, it tastes better. It's like saute onions, but a little different. With a little bit of a zing. Uh, yeah, it's, it tastes also a little bit like a caramel, caramelized, you know? Okay, okay, cool. That's no, right. that's fantastic. Okay, here we go. So be careful. Be careful. Well, that's it with the water content and the vinegar. It might splash up a little bit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> And then we move it like this. You just got to get a little brown in the see. Just got to brown it up? Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. So we just go from there and then just kind of toss some of that right on top? Yeah. Just like this? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, you know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So what's the best way to eat this? A little bit at a time, a little bit of everything on my uh, fork? Yes, you're Perfect. right. All right. <laughs> so a little bit of the mango. I'm going to taste the mango by itself. Uh -huh. so that's what, mmm. It is. It's nice. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. It does remind me of potato. Yes, it is. Similar. Similar, <laughs> yeah. Similar. Could you fry it? The as well? The, the, yes. man the, the mango? The mango, maybe you can try, but we also have the, the, the fried plantains. Okay, it's yeah. better if you do it this way. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Thank you so much, Nairobi, for You're uh, for sharing a little bit of your home <laughs> meals with us here today at the Arena Village. Thank you so much for the invitation.